including universal design in the engineering curriculum. By including accessibility and universal design in engineering curriculum, you're making a statement to all the students that you're teaching that the perspectives and the needs of people with disabilities is something that they need to think about whether they're engineering specifically for that group or for any other group. So just as we teach safety and material properties and dynamics within our engineering curriculum, incorporating universal design can ensure that our future engineers consider those small design tweaks and uh, consider the breadth of the population in their design and future innovation. Asking, is this accessible or what are the accessibility implications, then that is a practice that can follow them throughout their engineering career. You could do maybe just part of a lecture, or you could just do one lecture on it, or several lectures, not a whole course. And then the third option is to just do, develop a whole course on accessibility universal design. I think capstone courses, the purpose of them is to allow students to apply the skills that they've learned in a real world situation. And so it can be a great opportunity for students to, you know, first of all, understand that accessibility and, and universal design can address real world problems. And giving students opportunities to meet and interact with people with disabilities is a great way to include it in the curriculum. So we found that the students learned so much through just having a space to sit down and talk frankly about issues surrounding accessibility, disability, and some of the societal implications. If we want an accessible society with innovation that includes accessibility, then students need to be taught about universal design and, and accessibility. To learn more about how you can incorporate accessibility and universal design in engineering courses, visit the Access Engineering website hosted by the University of Washington, uw.edu slash doit slash programs slash access engineering. Access Engineering is supported by National Science Foundation grant number EEC-1444961. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation.